uh, it's a cow head with a pig's head and uh, let's say a horse's okay. brain. Okay, I'll eat it. You'll devour it. I don't give a fuck. All right. Why the fuck wouldn't I? I don't know. I mean, if maybe you're fanatical about no. I'm meat. not. I'm certainly not. No. I would eat that shit out with a spoon. I would, I would eat. I mean, you gotta live, you know. Yeah. I mean, I'm not. I'm not trying to like die because of my diet, you know. Like, I mean, if that's what's gonna heal me, and you know, that's what they're giving. Me. I mean, if I'm on a plane and they give me that, I'm gonna eat it with a spoon. Uh, you know, fucking love it. She sucks. I just watched Star Wars three. She's a fucking joke. Get out of my face, girl. Stop bugging me. Uh, donkeys, donkeys, they play lots of hockey with honkies and hockey pucks with Nazi sluts fucking ride them till they die and we all free, uh, let's save the donkeys. If she would, if I need to shave it, she probably wouldn't want to be with someone like me. But she does. She says, "See, the beard's kind of going." Um, in a in a parallel universe where I'm not pretty well affiliated or um, involved in a relationship that would be affected by something uh -huh. like that, I probably would shave it. But that's not in a in a literal way. Right now, like you offered it to me, I'd have to say no. And that's unfortunate, but like that's the that's the nature of relationships. You know what I'm saying? I do. That's why that's why uh, we're on the smash monogamy movement in hip hop. We're we're trying to make everyone realize that relationships will just ruin your chances of fucking beautiful uh, people, unless you're in Amsterdam and have 50 euro to waste on a window woman. Did you? <laughs> no, not I, yet. I, I, I still get the rest of the night. So. Uh, no, I, I have a girlfriend and. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't just I wouldn't put our relationship on the line for a one night fling with uh, it's hard. I know I know it's tough. It's tough Come to on. <laughs> I'm not saying it's an easy decision to make, but I have to be mature, you know. Um, I'll talk about it with her. Alright. I'm not shaving my beard. Not to not for a year. Maybe if she's interested in a year and, I, and my girlfriend has like completely fucked me over for Brad Pitt. You seriously gonna grow it up for a year? Or yeah. Oh, man. Do you wash it or? How do you of course. It? <laughs> Smell it. That's all right, actually. <laughs> it is. It smells right. good. Shampoo. <laughs> Shampoo or what? Soap. I just throw like lemon oil on it. Okay. That my girlfriend gave me. I told it. Um, Sorry was definitely something I said, but I told it that whenever I see turtles now, I promise that I'm going to try to help them and save them from certain death of cars. And um, the very next day, there was a turtle walking in the road that I ran out and I, I picked it up and it's like fucking gross little legs came out like that and I dropped it and it like, boom, it fell on its back. And it cracked its shell. It didn't. Okay. That would have been so whack. But it's pissed everywhere. Like the. the it's, I think it's a defense technique, but like piss was spurting out everywhere. And then when that ended, I grabbed like a towel and wrapped it up and brought it to the swamp. But I would just, I would like to say sorry, and I promise that. But you can't say sorry. You gotta say something. Else. I'm going to protect turtles whenever I get the chance, and I probably will donate to a total organi turtle organization dedicated to saving turtles and preserving their beautiful existence. Fucking dinosaurs, man! It's so strange. I respect an animal that's able to live for millions of years, you know, yeah. billions maybe, trillions. Absolutely. Yeah? Yep. I would do it for free. Really? Mm -hmm. So no hard feelings there anymore? No, no hard feelings. And I, even if there were hard feelings, I would, I would do it. I respect Buck65. Um, he was one of the first guys that I worked with in the industry and um, who was also doing stuff that I thought was really relevant in hip hop, um, especially with the Vertex album, which was like so out of the ordinary and, and really dope and fresh. And it was like, 
the um, sense are changed everything. Yeah, I mean, just the, the, the way the album was laid out and um, the way he talked within the music and, you know, like, I, res I respect that he has the ability to really bring it when he wants to. Of course, there's some stuff that I'm not totally into, um, but I just, I recently heard his new album, which is Country Secret House. Yeah, yeah track one, the moment you hear it, you say, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, but you know what, I respect it, and I I'm glad, like, it's not hip hop, it's, and he's oh. not rapping on it, and and he wants to do other kinds of music, and I'm actually feeling it. Like at the fir on, on the first listen, I was like, "Fucking, this guy's still not rapping." You know, like this isn't hip hop. And then the second listen, I listened to it, <laughs> understanding it's not hip hop, and I enjoyed it for you know whatever it is, which is just song music. Just you know, it's it's, it's countryish, but it's like post pop punk in certain parts. Um, and there's good melodies, he says some really cool shit on it. Hip hop music ruined my life. I didn't even, people keep referencing that line, but I haven't heard it yet. Yeah. Which song is that on? I think it's on track four or five, I'm not sure. It's funny, man. And I, I, I like Buck, I'm not gonna, like, I have I have no ill will towards him. I, in fact, you probably will hear a, a track with us together again someday. Oh, man. Skip one. Um, well, if you take out Bush, he becomes a martyr, and uh, there'll be someone to replace him that's just as fucking stupid or crazy or even more. Mm -hmm. um, I don't understand the the Israeli situation as much as I do uh, Bush's situation. So, if I, you know, if Sharon goes away, what's going to happen? You know, like someone's going to replace him as well. You know. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I, I don't truly understand the, the specifics of that situation. So I, I would say Bush. I, I would just, even though he's a, he would be made a martyr, I just want him gone. You know, I just want a new guy to like focus all my like negative energy on. <laughs> I'm so sick of Bush. But then like another Bush is going to get in there, and it's like it's not going to end. It's, but he has given a bit more power to Europe lately. Huh? Bush the Syria thing. And... Um, I'm not really I'm not up on all that. I, and I also. When I hear about stuff like that, I don't. It doesn't click. I don't like. I don't really believe it. You know. Um, he's got a term to, to 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 live out now, and he has nobody to please. He doesn't have to like worry about getting reelected. So he's gonna he's gonna like work on his agenda. He's he's only gonna do things that benefit his agenda, and probably Christian right wing. Yeah. And he's gonna set up the next Bush to come through, like Jeb Bush, who isn't. It's his brother, man, and, and he's the governor of, of Florida. Is he thinking of presidency? I guarantee there's, there's going to be a Jeb Bush running for president. Why would it stop? I mean, they have the fucking country by its balls and the world by its balls. They're going to keep doing it. And something, something's going to happen. So maybe maybe if we got rid of Bush, Jeb would think twice before uh, pulling the same shit. But that's... <laughs> I'm just, uh, it has nothing to do with me. Uh, an iPod, I would never take with me because they fucking suck. Uh, um, hmm. um, shit, there's so many things I don't want to have with me. My sister's mother, I wouldn't want with us. Um, so, one more thing. Your sister-in-law? No, my sister's mom. Who has, she has a different mom. That was strange that I picked her, but I did. And, um, PlayStation. 
so my iPod, PlayStation, and my sister's mom are not invited on the island. Not too hot. <laughs> uh, if I make it to 60, um, this will be much more gray. Uh, I'll probably be much fatter and uh, fucking. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm, it's probably won't be pretty at all. I hope I take better care of myself at that point. But you know, fucking, my eyes will have caved into my head, and my earlobes will like get real long. Getting old sucks, man. <laughs> Which one do you let go? <laughs> if all three of you go, music dies, so you gotta choose one. I can't answer that. You have to answer that. I can't. Uh, I, I mean, I'm so fucking concert. strong, man. I've been working out. I would just like pull them both up. Don't run away. Come on. I can, they're both like real, real good friends of mine. That's what makes it a good question. I, you know what I would do? I would, I would hold them next to each other and let them fight for it. For it. Like they'd fight each other, and whoever won the fight, I would pick them up. Soul, he's got some size to him. He's, I think he's, he's kind of quick, but slugs get the long reach. I don't know. Whoever would win that fight, they, they'd have to fight for it. Cause I, I wouldn't decide. I would just hold them until like they figured it out themselves. Cause they don't, you know, they don't get along either. So it would be pretty vicious. You know? And I don't want to get, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to have that on my conscience for the rest of my life. I might as well kill myself. But uh, if they decide for me, you know, like, I could probably live with myself after that. Thanks for your time. Thank you, brother. I hope you like the show tonight.